Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So how about trying out a Bengali dish today? Now Bengali cuisine is very well known for its seafood delicacies. There are amazing number of uh, curries, fish curries, prawn curries. Sometimes they cook it with the addition of vegetables also. And Bengalis prefer sweet water fish. So today I am making rohu, rohu with yogurt. It's called doi mach. So let's proceed to make doi mach. Here are the ingredients. I have taken about 300 grams of rohu fish. For Bengali preparations, mostly they use fresh water fish. So this is a river fish. Cut it into medium sized pieces. And I have coarsely ground onion paste, about one cup. Half cup of yogurt. Whisk it well before using. 1 tablespoon of garlic, crushed garlic, 1 tablespoon grated ginger. Here we have whole spices. I have taken 3 green cardamoms, 1 piece of cinnamon stick, 3 cloves. Salt to taste. Garam masala powder, half teaspoon. Turmeric powder, half teaspoon. Red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon. I have taken Kashmiri chilli powder and 2 green chillies cut into large pieces. Coriander leaves as needed. And I am using mustard oil to cook this fish. If you don't like it, you can use any normal oil. Now first we are going to marinate the fish. Sprinkle little salt, little turmeric powder and little chilli powder, rub it well on the slices. Now turn the sides and repeat the same. Sprinkle little of each, saving the rest for the curry. Rub it well on the fish slices and set it aside for marination. Rub the spice mix nicely on the fish slices. Now cover it and set it aside. Take a pan and pour about quarter cup of mustard oil. Bring it to a smoking point because mustard oil has to be heated very well. Now reduce the flame. and fry the fish slices. Dip in all the pieces. You can increase the flame a bit in between turning the slices a couple of times. Now they seem to be done. Remove them in a plate. The fried fish also is so tempting, lovely aroma. In the same pan, now we are going to start the cooking process. First dip in the whole spices. I have crushed the cardamom slightly. Now saute these until they give out a lovely aroma. Now add the garlic and ginger. 
ਸੌਤੇ ਦੇ ਜਿੰਜਰ ਐਂਡ ਗਾਰਲਿਕ ਦਿਸ ਮੀ ਟੇਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹਾਫ ਅ ਮਿੰਟ ਔਰ ਸੋ ਨਾਓ ਐਡ ਦ ਓਨੀਅਨ keep stirring continuously until the onion changes its color after about 4 to 5 minutes you can see the color has changed and all the water from the onion has dried up add the turmeric powder chili powder salt to taste green chilies and mix everything well now dip in the whisked yogurt stir immediately and keep stirring continuously to avoid the curdling add little water now the gravy is done you can t- check for the salt and add if more is needed simmer it a little so that all the spices give out the are blended with the gravy and give out a lovely aroma now after simmering for a couple of minutes you can add the fried fish pieces to it now the consistency of the gravy depends on the way you like it i like it little thicker you can add more water if you like I added about half a cup. Put some gravy on top of the fish slices. So that they are completely immersed in the gravy. Finally, add the garam masala powder. garnish with little coriander leaves now we will simmer it for a minute or two depends on the thickness of the slices if the slices are thin only 1 minute is sufficient this curry is really really very delicious bengali fish curries are very well known for their flavors now the fish curry is done doi mach is ready to be served This goes well with plain rice. You are surely going to enjoy this curry. Friends, I hope you are liking my recipes. If you like them, do share my videos with your friends. And those of you who are new to the channel, do subscribe. This is a delicious Bengali fish curry to be served with plain rice. make it and enjoy now i've dished it out garnish with some coriander leaves and serve serve it hot lovely isn't it looks so tempting stay tuned for more recipes thank you you may also like to watch these videos check them out